Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Data Dispatch. Hope everybody is having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about how to use AI to boost your productivity. Now, this is a big area of question, and especially can we use it as a tool and more of a collaborative effort to work smarter, not harder, I think is a key takeaway from artificial intelligence and not use it as a complete replacement. Now, this can really boost productivity from any kind of aspect within your industry. Are you trying to simplify emails? Are you trying to respond? Are you copywriting, writing, writing large pieces of work, trying to generate new ideas? The possibilities there are endless. I'm just going to give you a few examples with some different applications that you can use completely for free and also having access to the internet. So I really urge you guys not to pay for different types of these AI premium uh, type applications. You can utilize these things all for free. Many of them utilize browsing features that I'll show you that are actually incorporated in some of the top search engines that there are. So, of course, hit that like button for the algorithm, subscribe for daily videos, and let's talk about some simple ways that we can use AI to boost our productivity. Now, number one, of course, is ChatGPT. This is one of the largest language models that we've seen. Um, it is utilized top trending among many different social media accounts. We've seen this all over Twitter. We've seen this utilized in the news and utilized for many different content creators to help generate many different types of tasks that they need to complete. Now, speaking about ChatGPT, if we pop it up on the screen right here, let me make my face smaller. You don't want to see that. With ChatGPT, it is pretty quick. I will say that. And I've had some I've had some great experience with utilizing ChatGPT. One great example that it could be utilized to boost its productivity is really just simplifying articles. And I use I use that personally for trying to come up with different ideas to show with you guys on the advantages of AI. Here is an article about AMD. Actually, they created a new AI chip that is going to compete against NVIDIA likely here at a much cheaper price. Make sure you stay for tuned for that on a side note. But talking about this and really trying to gather, time is really important. Sometimes I don't have a ton of time. What you can do is take a lot of text within an article right here and you can ask ChatGPT to give me a summary of the following text. So if we put that in here and pop that up for you guys, you can see if I type this in right here, give me a summary of the following text and I type in an all right there. We will quickly get a text discussing about how AMD has its entry into the AI chip market and its potential impact on NVIDIA's dominance in the field like we just talked about right there. So in the matter of a few seconds, I can get a summary about what the article is like, trying to see some of the trending news that is occurring and what is happening within the world. Another one, now ChatGPT, a special thing to realize about it, is that the premium model is the only one that actually offers browsing. Um, otherwise, it's just only up to date by 2020. New different search engines such as um, Bing Chat and Google Bard, Google Bard is their AI model right here, actually research and will actually search utilizing their search engines to help create and help make the best response for your prompt. A good example here especially is if I want to say generate some YouTube ideas for me or generate some ideas that I can utilize for content creation. And if we look right here, basically generate some ideas and some ideas for content creation, Google Bard does take just a little bit longer than ChatGPT, but it's also incorporating a search feature for it. And here are some YouTubes that it says right here, talking about vlogs, tutorials, challenges, different types of ideas that I can use to help inspire myself and to help kind of create with some new, uh, I wanna say competitiveness among all of the other YouTubers on how to actually create these different types of videos that I love bringing to you guys regarding artificial intelligence. Another one that I want to talk about is Bing AI. Now Bing and especially Bing Chat utilizing their feature right here, if we pop it up on the screen for you, is that they also use an in-browsing feature. Another great thing that I use personally is just summarizing tweets, or you can even summarize emails. If you work in a type of field or career that you get tons of emails, here is an option talking about, I was just scrolling through Twitter, and it talks about this guy, random person here, talking about putting money in index funds. And here are some of the top five index funds. You get into a long thread, and that's what Twitter Twitter is really becoming is a long thread. If I don't have time to really research all this information or understand what's happening, I can just simply kind of give it a nice little copy right here, copy the text within the thread, 
and then I can pop it up here. This is basically for people to go to this newsletter. Um, go back to that Bing AI where I was at right here and ask it to summarize it. Now you can see here as Bing will actually take this in and it takes sometimes the more information you get it, the longer it's going to actually have for the response. But you can see a possible summary is the author is talking about some different index, index funds for investing, such as VGT, VOT, EFA, and focusing on these different things and how investing hundred bucks a week, blah, blah, blah. But you can see in this quick summary I get, I am getting information very quickly. So there's a lot of power behind these different types of chat bots and you're gonna see a lot of useless information out there. It's also important just being creative with yourself, learning how to incorporate these into your daily lives can really accelerate uh, the kind of work that you need to do. So that's really all that I have for you guys. I want to share with you. Peace out. Take care and I'll catch you guys later.